But this is the first time we get honest leadership like you in America. And uh, in past, agree with that. This yeah. is the first time we've had. So, so in past, in, in past, we've had a lot of dishonesty, and yeah. they treated Pakistan very badly. So, so in past, people in my position have treated Pakistan very badly. So in past, in pa I think okay. that uh, I wouldn't say Pakistan has treated us too well either, but maybe there was a reason. And in fact, I think there was a reason for it. So in past, you have said that you don't trust Pakistan. So then we have honest leadership. I trust Pakistan, but people before me didn't, but they didn't know what they were doing. So it's just one of those little problems in life. You know, I, I, you know what I do? I trust this gentleman right here. And I do trust Pakistan. I know I have a lot of Pakistani friends living in New York. They're smart. Great negotiators, by the way, in case you had any questions. They're among the toughest negotiators in the world. So, so you are bringing people. And you know what? It's all going to work out. But if I can help, I'd like to help. But I don't think you've ever had a president that felt the way I do in a positive way about Pakistan. I don't think you have. I've looked back and I've seen where it was. And, and, but I also have a very good relationship with India. I have a good relationship with both. So that if, if they decide to use that feeling among both, I think we can help out. But this has been a long standing. This has been going on for a long time. So you're. Mr. President, can you negotiate the seat with the Modi? He alleged that Pakistan is the hub of terrorism. Do you endorse that or do you disagree with that? Because you said that Pakistan has made a lot of terrorism. Well, I really have been pointing much more to Iran. I mean, Iran, if you look at what, that's been really the state of terror. I've been saying it's the number one state of terror in the world. And the agreement we had does not cover that. It was not doing well. It was doing very poorly. And now Iran is doing very poorly. Iran is uh, a different place than when I took over. When I took over the United States, when I became president, Iran was a real threat to the entire Middle East and maybe beyond. And now uh, they're having very, very big difficulties, to put it mildly. So we'll see. Are you happy with the progress that Pakistan has made countries there is? Particularly in the I've heard they've made great progress, and under this leader, he's a great leader, I think he wants to make great progress.